Hi everyone, my name's Alice from Discover AI and I love using Power BI to really bring environmental data to life. In this short video, I want to walk through how to get started using Icon Map, which is one of my favorite custom visuals for Power BI. Um, and I really want to create a very simple map today, um, just a simple point map to show uh, where some forests, reservoirs and wetlands are across Victoria. But I think we can do a little bit better than just a standard point map. In this uh, short video, I want to walk through how we can use Icon Map to create literally an, a map with icons. So very simple, just uh, latitude and longitudes, but with a bit of a twist with an icon uh, to really create that infographic style map. So to get started using Icon Map, um, the best place to get this custom visual at the time of recording, so I'm recording this in January 2022, um, is not from the standard way that we'd get a visual in Power BI, not from App Source under Get More Visuals, but we actually uh, want to import a visual from a file. Uh, because this custom visual, it's created by James Dales, um, he regularly updates the Icon Map visual and has a dedicated website, iconmap.com, uh, where you can download the latest version. So here I want to download Icon Map 3.2.0 which is the latest version as of the 2nd of January 2022. Um, and he's actually just released this to Power BI App Source. So it should be available um, in that marketplace very shortly as well. So back over in Power BI, how we um, get the icon map visual into Power BI is to import the visual from a file. So we click on this option here. And you can see that I've downloaded a lot of different versions of Icon Map, but this is the latest one. So we can see that that visual has been successfully added into my report here. And with all custom visuals, um, they're stored below the line here, just to separate it from our standard visuals. Uh, so before we convert this over to Icon Map, let's take a quick look at the data. What do we actually want to display in Power BI? So if we have a look at this table, we have a very simple table here of different water resource uh, points across Victoria. Um, so we have a name, we also have an index. This is just a unique um, ID for every one of these points. We have different types of points. So we have wetlands, reservoirs and forests. And then we just have uh, latitude and longitude coordinates. So if we head back over to our report view here, Let's switch this up from the standard map visual to the icon map visual. So I've just got this visual selected and we can just click on icon map. So now we just have to rearrange the fields. Let's bring latitude into latitude, longitude into longitude. And you can see that the map's not rendering correctly. It's rendering in Brighton here. I think this is in the UK. We actually need two required fields for this uh, mapping visual to render. We need category, uh, which is the unique ID for each one of these points. So I'm going to use my index field here. And we also need size. So even if we want all of these points to be plotted with exactly the same size, so we don't want to use size as a, as a dimension, it's still required to render the visual. So as a proxy, I'm just going to bring in this index field here and I'm going to display the count of the index so that all of these fields are plotting exactly the same. So you can see here that we've got um, just very similar to our other standard point map. We just have a point map here displaying these locations of these different points across Victoria. But this isn't really anything special. What we want to do now is we want to add icons to these points uh, to display um, different icons for the different uh, reservoirs, uh, forests, and wetland points. So in Power BI, uh, the easiest way to render images is um, to actually find your images or host your images online. Uh, so here I have three images I want to bring into Power BI. I want to bring in this water drop for the reservoirs, uh, this forest icon, and this leaf for the wetlands. Uh, these images are just images hosted online on an IMGBB account. Um, and we can bring them into Power BI, into the icon map, using this image URL here. Uh, so to get started, I'm just going to copy this image URL here for this water drop. 
and go back over to my Power BI visual here. Under the formatting options, and then if we have a look under objects, we can see that we have an option here for adding either an image or WKT. So let's um, ignore the WKT for now. Uh, we'll have a look in, at that in another video coming up. But for this, um, this video, we're just going to have a look at our image option. So here we can have an option um, of bringing images into this map using an image URL. Uh, here I've just uh, copied and pasted that image URL for the water drop here. And we can see that that is applied to all of these points um, on my map. Let's make these points a little bit bigger. So if we have a look under, um, under the objects again, we've got a minimum and maximum size here. There's so many options. Uh, 50 could be a little big. Let's make it 25. Cool. So that looks good. Now we can see all of our point locations and these are all um, icons at the moment. But these aren't all reservoirs. We don't really want our forest to be displayed as a water drop. We want to have those three different icons added in. So what we can do is we can create a dynamic DAX measure uh, using the switch true function uh, just to change the image URL um, which we're calling on in Power BI. So here I'm going to call this uh, measure just icon for map and we can use the switch true statement. So here switch if this expression is true. So if our selected value selected value uh, for the water resource uh, point assets for the type field. If this equals reservoir, then what we want to return is that image URL for the water drop. Otherwise, if the value equals to forest, we want to return the forest URL. If it's wetland, we want to return the wetland URL and so forth. So to save me from typing out the entire boring DAX measure for everyone, here I'll just copy it in. And once you have a dynamic DAX measure um, in your Power BI report, then you can see over here under the um, image and WKT option, we have this FX option. This allows us to do conditional formatting and dynamically uh, uh, bring in the field properties using something like a DAX measure. So if we click on this FX button, um, we can see that we want to format it based on the field value and we can search for our icon here. We'll bring that in. And now we can see that we have uh, the water drops for these, um, for these reservoir points and uh, we've got the forest icon for our forests. And also we've got the uh, leaf icon for our wetlands. So this is a very uh, simple um, video to show you how you can get started using Icon Map, just to create a simple point map, but with a bit of a difference. Um, if you wanted to have a look at how we could apply this in some of uh, some other applications, uh, you can see here. Here we're using a very um, similar example where I've displayed um, an icon on a map here to represent uh, different uh, different water assets as well. Um, or you could if we have a look at this other example here. Here we've got lots of different icons to represent uh, different uh, sewerage water infrastructure for another example here. So it just allows you to really um, give your maps a bit of a lift to convert just a simple point map into uh, more of an infographic style map to really communicate the data at a glance. Um, so that you can share it with a much wider range of audiences. If you were keen to um, learn more about how you can incorporate images inside of Power BI, uh, check out our blog on incorporating images in Power BI here. This is where we walk through how to find, host and add images into Power BI, um, all from uh, getting them online where you can find icons, uh, to uploading them onto IMGBB and adding them into different visuals in Power BI, not just Icon Map. So this was a really simple video showing you how to get started using Icon Map. 
Uh, make sure to check out uh, Discovery Eye's blog and YouTube channel for uh, the future videos on how we can get a little bit more complex with Icon Map. Having a look at how we can incorporate our own custom uh, point signs and polygons as WKT files and also creating custom base maps to really bring these maps to life. So thanks so much for listening and have fun creating your own icon maps.